Mihwish says, for those traveling by plane from America to Pakistan, it will be night most of the flight. On the way back, it will be day throughout the whole flight. The flight will be about 14 hours, and I'll ask the crew to wake me up for Fajr. However, does this mean for about 14 hours I don't pray anything? Well, to my knowledge, Mehwish, when you are flying eastwards, eastbound, you are chasing the sun and you're racing with the sun. So you will see time flying like crazy. So if you depart before sunrise, before Fajr, by mid the mid of your journey or by the, th uh, uh, the two thirds of your journey, sun would set. The whole day would elapse while you are on the plane, if you're going eastbound. Which means that you have to follow the position of the sun to know when to pray your Fajr, meaning that you look from the window, the moment you see that the dawn has broken, the break of dawn, then you have to pray Fajr before the sun rises. And just before the sun sets, you can pray Dhuhr and Asr combined, two rak'ah, two rak'ah. And once the sun sets, you can pray Maghrib, three rak'ahs, and Isha, two rak'ahs. And then whenever you land, there's no problem. If you're going the opposite direction, and that is westbound, this means that you are going against the sun, which means that the time seems to be standstill. For example, I travel from Kuala Lumpur to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. My flight usually takes off at 12 noon, which is the Dhuhr time. And I reach Jeddah approximately, if I'm not mistaken, by two or three o'clock. So this means that as if my flight took eight hours, yet the time Elapsing was maybe two or three hours due to the time of difference between the regions, which is five hours, etc. So when you're traveling westbound, the sun seems to be stationary, not moving, because you are traveling in the direction of the sun. And hence, you may not pray except Dhuhr and Asr when you arrive. And you may not even pray that. So there's no problem. It, what counts when you're traveling by an airplane is the position of the sun to you in that plane. So the minute you see from your window that the sun has set, this is time for Maghrib for you. And the minute you see that the break of dawn is clear between the white thread and the, and the black thread, the time of Fajr for you has begun and the time in between can be estimated as well.